So why do sales managers fail? Well, there's a lot of reasons why some of them fail, but um, I'm gonna go a little bit different with this one. I'm gonna go, first off, I'm gonna talk about new sales managers, and then we'll talk about people that have been in the business for a while. But I think the main reason why new sales managers fail is because sometimes when owners and GMs and GSMs are looking for that next person to fill those shoes, uh, they look for their highest producing person in in the business, in their in their dealership. And the problem with that is, just because you are a good salesman, doesn't mean you're going to be a good manager. And so the biggest thing that that I've seen is that it goes hand in hand with you know with a salesman too, is that we don't train. I mean, it's plain and simple. You can't put somebody in a leadership role that has never been in a leadership role and think that all of a sudden they know how to lead. Like that's something that comes with time and with, with teaching them. And the biggest thing is that a lot of sales managers have this I made it mentality once because that was their goal. Like they, they, they wanted to become a sales manager and that's as far up as the, up the ladder that they thought they could go and so that's where they set the bar and they've hit this bar. Well the problem with that is is that you have to continually get better. You have to, you know, I can't blame this all on ownership and GSMs and GMs because the fact of the matter is sales managers is that you have to continually train yourself. Uh, if that's books, if that's video, if it's uh, podcasts, whatever the case may be, you have to continuously do this because if you don't, then you're going to get stagnant and you're not going to be looking for better ways of doing business and better ways of leadership and different things that you, you have to do because, you know, when you're leading people, well, managing people, you haven't even had the honor to, to, to become a leader yet. But when you're managing people, uh, you have to find out what makes them tick and each individual person is different. And so, when you're when you're doing that so so as a, as a new manager the reason why you fail is because you you don't get taught how to be a manager you never earn the respect or the ability to become a leader because you don't even know how it's going to be to be a, an actual manager and so you're trying to learn all these different things and understand that it's a lot to take on when you're testing deals when you're doing those things and you're trying to manage people i get it it's a lot but you have to be able to understand that in order to be an effective manager, you have to continually train yourself and you have to get better. And you're gonna fuck up, I get it. You're going to, like, just be honest with your people that you're gonna mess up. I think that's why a lot of people like me, um, you know, as a, as a leader is because I will tell them that, hey, let's go make this call. Now I may fuck it up, but I'm gonna do everything I can. And I want you to hear how I do it. And if I do mess up, I'm gonna, I want you to critique me and, and tell me where I could have done better maybe. It's fun when you do it that way. And the reason why older sales managers fail is because they, uh, they don't know, they don't continuously train. And this business is changing rapidly. And you know, some of these old car dogs that have been in this business for a while and, you know, with the old, um, we've always done it this way, crap. And, you know, they don't continuously change and they're not continuously training. And so that's their biggest fault is that a lot of their flaws are getting exposed now because the business is changing so quickly. And these guys have just decided to, they made it. Uh, they got where they're going to be. They've peaked out, and now they don't know what to do. And the consumer's changing, the business is changing, the people inside the business are changing, and some of these guys don't know what to do. So they're starting to get freakout mode, and they get protective of what they're doing. And then, um, well, they don't exist at the dealership anymore. And so if you're not continuously training and trying to continue to get better then it's going to be a very difficult road for you. Um, so my challenge to you is um, find a podcast, find something to watch that, or a book to read. If you, if you don't like reading, find a podcast or, or um, you know, any type of thing that's going to get you to start thinking a different way and get you to continuously train. Because if you don't, well, that's why you fail. Thank you for watching. Right there to say it.